So, folks, my goodness, the tears continue to flow. And I have to say, not to be weird, they are delicious. Because there's more and more freakout from the far right when it comes to old Tuckums being booted from his job. And it culminates, guys, in one of those people being kicked off Fox News during a live interview. And of course, I'm talking about Kerry Lake, because this is one of those people. I also have a clip of Marge as well, which is great. They really are a gruesome twosome, aren't they? But, you know, Kerry Lake and Marjorie Taylor Greene and so many others for the last few days have been going on to non-Fox right-wing media and have been crying on the hilltops that this is somehow a violation of the First Amendment, that this is a travesty, that this is a sign that Fox has gone woke and that they're secretly a part of the Democratic Party. All insane, absolutely bonkers takes. But really what this is about, guys is them losing an echo chamber. They really don't care all that much about Tucker. I'm sure that they, they like Tucker, they admire him in a sense, but these are fundamentally selfish people, people like Carrie Lake and Marge and all of that. And, 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 and at the core, what this is about is that they're rarely invited on Fox as it is, on the non- Tucker type shows because they're too crazy even for Fox and when they do get invited on as I'm going to show you in this supercut it gets really ugly for them and also keep in mind that we have some bombshell news about indictments against both of these women in Georgia and Arizona and in other places that are coming down hard and without Tucker there to defend them watch this and you'll get a sense of that watch this and you'll get a sense of their their terror of the criminal danger. They don't have that protection. So take a look at this glorious supercut. Well, I mean, they're running a business. They have the right to run it the way they will. And it's very obvious right now that um, Fox News has become the establishment GOP, which is really the uniparty Republicans. They're the ones who are really in bed with the the left, it's the Democrats and the Republicans in the Uniparty who are pushing a globalist agenda. And they can't afford to have hosts who are pushing Americanism, who, who are America first and love this country. They can't afford to have a Tucker Carlson speaking out over the next year and a half because it will ruin their uh, push toward globalism. That's why they got rid of Bongino. What I say to every host that is left on Fox News which is the establishment news channel, do not let them use your voice, your reputation, your heart and your soul to push an, a propaganda about uh, uh, establishment politics that are going to destroy our country. Step away. Don't let those golden handcuffs handcuff you to a uh, agenda and narrative and propaganda that you don't support. This is your time to stand up. We have a year and a half to save our country. I worry, I don't know what Tucker's deal is, but I worry that he might still be under contract and they're literally going to be paying him 10, 20, 30 million a year to just sit there and be quiet. We can't afford to have Tucker Carlson's voice silenced for a year and a half. I don't know if Tucker's listening to this, but if he happens to hear it, I beg you, Tucker Carlson to speak out, break the terms of that contract. We need your voice over the next year and a half to save our country. Yeah. And if you get sued by your former employer, we will help create a defense fund to help you fight that lawsuit. We need your voice. We need every American's voice who cares about this country in the next year and a half to save our constitution and to save our country use our purse and we decide we're not going to buy a product because we don't care for the way that they are pushing that product. And we saw that with Bud Light and our giving our mind and our eyes to something is power for us. If we decide we're not going to give our mind and eyes to a network because we don't like the direction they're going, that's powerful. Again, I don't think they care about the bottom line. They care about the agenda they're pushing and they're, they're an establishment Republican group. I'm not trying to be critical of them. That's just who they are. They were lucky to have Bongino on there and, of course, Tucker Carlson. I don't think they care if the people who love MAGA make America great again, if the Republican America first folks leave them. I think they'll just continue to push an establishment Republican agenda. I encourage every other news person at Fox who cares about this country to walk away from their contract to walk away from their show. 
I'm talking about all of them. If they care about their contract, walk away. We can get you set up with a an outlet that will allow you to speak the truth. But right now, we got a year and a half to save our country. Don't let them push an agenda that's anti-American on your back. Don't th- let them use your voice, your reputation to push an anti-America uh, establishment globalist agenda on your back. I implore these people who are still employed at these networks to walk away. With Tucker, I don't know what his deal was. I don't know if they had the ability. I mean, I've seen how these deals work because I worked in the business for 30 years. A lot of times they can get rid of you and they can still pay you and they can force you to sit out and not use your voice and they'll pay you, I, I would guess with, with someone like Tucker, 20 or 30 million a year. Basically hit the beach, be quiet, don't speak out and we'll pay you. I encourage Tucker, if that's his deal, to Stand up against that. We need your voice, Tucker. We gotta have your voice. If they're paying you 20 or 30 million a year, stand up, speak out. We can find you an outlet. We must have your voice the next year and a half. And if you get sued by your former employee, we will help come up with a defense fund, a legal defense fund to help you fight back. But we have a year and a half to save the United States of America. We have a year and a half to save our constitution, our bill of rights for the people for all people, Democrat, independent, and Republican, and we can't afford to lose your voice, Tucker. So if you're hearing this, we encourage you to get back in, no matter what your you know, buyout is or what they're trying to tell you, speak out, we need you right now, we don't have a lot of time. Big news of the week, Fox fired Tucker Carlson. Um, Fox has gone left, they've gone woke. Uh, we're, we're clearly calling them out for it. Tucker is a great voice for conservatives across the country. He doesn't have the platform anymore. Will you weigh in on Fox's decision to fire probably one of the more conservative voices, most important voices in America? Absolutely. I think it was devastating to our First Amendment, Eric. I see it as a very serious problem. Our First Amendment is free speech, but it's also freedom of press. And when a gigantic media company like Fox News fires their number one, uh, Tucker Carlson, not for him doing anything wrong, uh, not because his ratings were bad, but they literally fired him because they caved to the woke mob. What we're seeing is we're seeing the end of the First Amendment. That's how I see it. I can't see it any other way. We've seen censorship out of control. We, we saw the federal government, Department of Homeland Security, align with big tech to censor Americans uh, for several years now on political issues because they weren't speaking the speech that was the chosen speech to say. Well, neither was Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson was pushing the limit every single night on his show, and he was telling the news stories that the American people wanted to hear. I also want to point out that many Democrats even watched Tucker Carlson's show, and he was making a true difference. But Fox News caved to the woke mob, and they are paying the price. I'm hearing from many people that have deleted their Fox News apps. I'm hearing from many people that have canceled their Fox Nation subscriptions. And this is a very poor choice for a company to fire their number one that is leading to direct results the, the same kind of results that Bud Light has experienced uh, by, by promoting Dylan Mulvaney, a biological male that prances around like a prepubescent teenage girl, but they fired Tucker Carlson. And so they're going to feel the results from Americans that are not happy about this. Yeah, yeah, I spent- we can't keep having elections that nobody can live with, and we can't yeah. have this level of fraud anymore. Understanding that every Republican leader in Washington says that Joe Biden is the legitimate president, everyone. Um, but I understand what you're well, running on. But let me. They're let sitting me, there in Washington. They're sitting there in Washington. Understood. They're not here in Arizona. This is what we you're running on. I get it. Let journalists me just, to come out here and dig through this. Let me just ask you one thing. Uh, obviously, as a candidate, you come under scrutiny. The Washington Post has a story today. It says Arizona GOP candidate who criticized drag queens was once a fan, according to a drag queen. This is the quote. Arizona GOP gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake, who has attacked drag queens as dangerous to children, attended the shows of drag queen Richard Stevens for more than 20 years and once hired him to perform at her home. Do you care to address that? I do care. I actually I actually do care to address that, and I'm really shocked. I'm actually appalled that Fox News would take defamatory story like that, and we are pursuing legal action against this drag queen. 
I'm appalled that you would bring that up when you have not talked about our stolen election. You failed to talk about We just spent three that. questions, Ms. Lake, talking about this. I just you asked haven't. you a number of questions about it. I played the Arizona this House Speaker. This is the first of it. Let's address, this, let's address this story that's in the Washington Post. Every candidate takes wow. tough stories. I'm asking you to I'm, respond I'm to it to if you'd like it. to. I'm happy to address it, but I, I'm really disappointed in Fox. I thought you were a little better than CNN. <laughs> this is a person who I covered for decades, for decades, 20 years, and he's never been in my home. He says he's been in my home for a drag show. That's ludicrous. He's never been in my home. He's lied. We tried to serve him defamation papers, okay. and he's so shady that we can't even track him down because he's not even welcome at the places what that if, he works. I'm sorry, but this is the last question I'm going to ask. What about these pictures of you with him, Richard Stevens? R Brent, and the what about the, is, the post? I've performed for Carrie's birthday. I've performed in her home. That's not I've true. I've performed for her at that's some of the true. seediest bars in Phoenix. I don't want to ask these questions. I asked you to address them. I, actually, I think, you, I think you do want to ask them, but you don't want to ask about 2,000 mules. I think you do want to ask about this. This is absolutely ludicrous. I'm, I'm talking about drag shows in schools. This is what triggered this man. Somebody who goes to a drag show with female impersonators is one thing. We don't want our tax money going into drag shows at school. Okay, I understand and what you're making a difference the there, but you're I'm saying his allegations yeah. are wrong, is They're what you're false. saying. Yes, okay. I am. Right. And I'm really, I'm really appalled that you would spend time on a false story like that. It's shocking. Well, I think it's, it's, ask, it's important to have opponent. candidates address things that are coming up that might affect uh, a race. Truly. And I thought you would but appreciate that. But you didn't that. ask my opponent, the establishment opponent who was here last week, you didn't ask her about her votes to allow illegal alien students to get a lower tuition than American students. You didn't ask her about okay. the 70 plus times that she raised tuition on American students. You didn't ask her any tough questions. That's and not here true. you have me on and you try to bring a defamatory story out. It's really sad. I Ms. thought Lake, there was hope. I really appreciate your time. Uh, we thought we'd address all issues that are on the table. That is one of them being covered today. Uh, we thank you and we'll cover the primary thank August you. 2nd. Thank you. Please send reporters out to cover this corrupt election. We would appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, the panel.